creating a scene like this is a huge undertaking. And so there's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of research that went into it. At the beginning, we had no idea how we would be able to just technically create this scene with all of this richness because it requires an incredible amount of computer power to create a photorealistic environment full of diversity and complexity. What we like to do here is use computer graphics to create environments and animals and creatures from scratch, from reference and from video. We also use a technique called photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is it's a technique for combining still imagery to create either computer models or create mosaics of a large area. The photogrammetry is hard enough, but to do on underwater kind of amazes me. We've been working with researchers both within and outside the academy who have gone to coral reefs and taken thousands of photos of various species of corals. So that's how we've gotten a lot of the coral models we've been using is via photogrammetry. The visualization studio's experience with rendering mosaics from a photogrammetry standpoint, now they're able to advise me on how to make that process more efficient so that I might use it as a tool for future scientific research. I think the hardest part was just starting this incredibly huge task of putting down thousands and thousands of pieces of coral and figuring out how to make it look good. What you do is you take something and you replicate it many times and you try and change it just enough each time. You rotate it, you scale it, you kind of orient it different ways. Maybe you change the color a little bit or kind of other subtle variations that you can do systematically. As far as how many individual instances of each thing are in there, it's thousands, tens of thousands, you know, more than I can keep track of. In addition to the corals, which are animals, we also created other creatures to draw the audience into this location. The scene itself is filled with something like 3,000 fish. We have 31 different species of fish. So we started by looking at the fish that we have here in our tank. For a while, I was just going out there every morning, just staring at the fish and trying to learn about how they move. So I just sat there and tried to learn as much as I could about what was going on with their behavior. And then we began building the models for each fish. Meanwhile, we needed to figure out a way to get the volume of fish that we wanted into the scene, and we wanted quite a few. So I started researching a piece of software we use that's really good at simulating crowds, like large numbers of people and we were able to adapt that to simulate large crowds of fish. And then we move over and we look at a really interesting relationship between this creature called a crown of thorns starfish, which is this really amazing starfish that's covered in spines. They eat corals, so they can go through and kind of decimate an entire reef if they're not held in check. But a little tiny crab called an acropora crab lives inside this coral, and it, when one of these crown of thorns come out to basically attack its home, it tries to fight it off. I did have to do a lot of hand animation for the crab and crown of thorns battle scene because the crab is grabbing onto the spikes and shaking them. And so that involved a lot of hands-on activity. And we had scientists in here just the other day. When she saw it, she was like, wow, how'd you do that? It looks great. This whole process has been absolutely fascinating and so much fun for me, integrating with our visualizations team. Is that When they were developing a particular scene, they would pull me in to advise how to make that scene very, very scientifically accurate. But the level of detail that they were going for was incredible. It really, really challenged me to pull up some of the cutting edge, really up-to-date literature to try to feed them as much information as we know. That opening scene sort of shows the risks that we took and that they're actually paying off with some beautiful imagery that the audience will be able to experience. We really want the audience to walk away from the show, not just entertained, but also hopefully they will have a greater sense of what coral reefs are about. Right now, coral reefs around the world are being challenged by unprecedented stressors, mostly human-induced. This show instills a sense of hope. This is a difficult story, this is a turning point for reefs, but it's not too late. That we can turn this around collectively if we make some responsible decisions moving forward. <laughs>